What's going on you guys? It's Marsh here and today we're finally back with Brandon's FK8 Civic Type R. Hasn't touched it since that last video when we put the exhaust on the car, but he's finally throwing on some coilovers and a brand new set of wheels. So this thing finally stops looking so lame with the stock wheels and that stock ride height. Ooh, so here we go. This is what we're installing today. We got the what do you get? The brand new the teen coilovers. Flex A coilovers. Yeah. So on the the FK8, for some reason, most people they just run springs on this car, um, but I basically explained to Brandon that he gets springs, he's probably gonna buy coils after. So he just went and opted for the coils. Well, I guess you gotta open it up. Brand new parts, huh? It's, it's such a baller, dude. It's just brand new, dude. You guys, these are the wheels we're putting on. A classic, can't go wrong. 18 inch TE37s, OGs. Um, Brandon actually bought these in dash white uh, from factory, but you know, he thought, whatever, I'm going all out on these. So he got them repowder coated in champ white to match the car because he wanted the classic like ITR Honda type R look of the champ white on champ white. He actually bought brand new uh, stickers too. Super overpriced, but you know, it is what it is. And the valves, uh, Bell stems, and then he wrapped that all in uh, in Pilot Sport 4S's and 265 all around. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be putting on the car. Classic combo, coilovers, and then, you know, the Champ White TEs on Champ White Whip. Woohoo. Fancy. I forgot to talk about this, but he also bought brand new um, Ray's locking lug nut set. To go with the TEs once we throw them on there. Yeah, this is interesting. The coilover kit comes with a roll of 3M tape, 3M double-sided tape, a badge. So if you want to badge and stick, if you want to fully rice out your car after you install their their coils on it, um, maybe I should read this. And yeah, professional DIY over here. Professional DIY. What so do you gotta uh, do? We, we, we took just, the wheels off. We took it off, and now we're just looking at it. What do you think? Take uh, we, that bolt off. Take that bolt off. We gotta take that bolt off. And then there's the plug right the there. Plug for the thing. And then there's three on top. And I yeah. think. And then we couldn't figure out how to put on all fours. It's not really a good jacket point for the rear. Um, it's hard to put this car on all four at once. So we're just gonna do the front first, and then we'll do the rears after. But yeah, so we're gonna. Hopefully, these bolts are really easy because this car is new. But let's see. Alright, so Brandon's just taking out the last 14 millimeter. We got these two, the two bolts out for the lower part of the strut. So yeah, so both of these are the same, 17 millimeter bolts on the bottom, and then the one 14 millimeter one that Brandon's taking off right now. Um, Alright, you guys, we're kind of dumb, so didn't look up how to do it, so I just assumed take off the bolts that look like they're connected to the strut. Um, but there's a lot more stuff you got to take off. You got to take off the under tray to access these like the toe end links. You got to take off the bolts for that. And then there's two bolts that like connect to the subframe. Um, so we got to take off like four or five more bolts and then we're going to be good to go. There we go. Dude, sick. <laughs> I need to buy some clips. Nice. Can you uh, loosen this up? Part of it. Yeah, thanks. Everything pretty easy to take off on this car. That new, new. Now right, we're getting the last subframe bolt off. That way we can remove the, I think we had to pull the lower control arm out of the subframe brace here. And then it'll give enough room to wiggle out the coil. But after this bolt is off, we got every bolt out. Um, we just needed the right 19 millimeter socket. And now it's coming out. So this is the situation. We're taking out this lower control arm because you got to do that to drop the strut for some reason. Um, and then this bolt 
like doesn't want to come out this one right here look at that you can see all the threads now <laughs> dude this is like threads from hell dude oh my god dude where is it oh where my, is it look at this <laughs> Oh my god. Nice, dude. dude oh, yeah. yeah. Dude. Finally, dude. Damn. Oh my god, dude. This thing's ridiculous. Yeah. So we took off the whole lower control arm, we shake the shit out of it, and it oh. gave it enough angle where we could pull it out. Oh. Got it out. How long did that take, man? Five hours? Uh, we'll pretend that it was easy for us. Yeah, that was easy, man. That was yeah, like, what, easy. An hour. An hour. All right. So we can get in the other side. Yeah. And it's gonna go in, take off the blast bolt that we have on here. Then hopefully the next thing we're doing, it'll probably be nighttime, but hopefully we'll be throwing on the coil over, you know? As we watch Brandon screw off this last lower control arm bolt on this side. This will probably take what, 20 minutes? Mm, hopefully 10. Brandon got it out. This is the, this is the bolt right here. Whew, now that, whew, how long did that take now that you know what to that do? That one took, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, like 10 minutes to but take But the other side, what, an hour? Yeah, we were just messing around. We didn't know what we were doing. Went to Home Depot twice. What, so we just got to uh, wiggle this? Yeah, we got to wiggle off the control arm again. All right. Continuing this at nighttime. I got, or we got in the right side. We just need to tighten everything on the driver's side. So, Brand's gonna tighten it. And then hopefully we can button this up and show you guys what it looks like. It only took us 50 hours, but both of the front coils are in. We got everything tightened up, and now we're gonna throw on the TEs on the front. Even you. There you go. Woo. Woo. No. Yeah, what are you talking about, dude? Woo. Oh, are you excited to do the rears tomorrow? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna cut it here. Tomorrow we're gonna hit you with the rears, we're gonna adjust the height, all that jazz, you know? Alright you guys, so it's day two. As you guys can see, we finished up, got the T's on the front. Uh, but we called it a night yesterday. Now we're just going to throw on the backs. Hopefully the backs are really quick, seem really easy. It's just a basic coilover install in the rear. So we'll bust that out, get the T's on there, get you guys some shots. Uh, we'll probably dial in the height a little bit and then show you guys what it looks like. Just need to move all the cars and then we can set everything up. Got the car moves. <laughs> Stoked in, I can get all the stuff out. Yeah. Whew, taking off your favorite wheels, man. Uh, removing the fender liner so you can get more access to the top two bolts. That performance. Gotta do that bolt. This one. Rear suspension here. So, rear oh. suspension, pretty easy to take off. This is what we're gonna have to do. Take off this bolt here, um, and then this, which connects to the sway bar, and then this will just drop out. You can take your spring out. Um, and then the strut itself is really easy. This bolt just comes off. Two bolts at the top, um, and then you have to disconnect the, the sensors, the two clips that hold the sensor in, and then you're good to go. Right side in. Pretty simple. The red, dude, now that we don't have the dope time attack wheels. <laughs> Brandon wants to take the red vinyl off the whip. Just comes right off. Yeah, yeah. dude. Line off the back. What do you guys think? You like the, 
the Hot Boy Racer Stripe or, or nah? This is what it looks like before. Red line on here too. Boom. Gonna take that off. Or to take it off the other side. But definitely look cleaner once since we're not having that time attack OEM wheels on here anymore. Bam, we got that four by four going, but this is the ride height we need right now. So we've been playing around with it for a while, took the rears off and on a few times, but now we're good to go. This is the final ride height for now. For now. Until Brandon goes to a... She works. Gets the alignment, alignment. and he gets five, negative five degrees camber. <laughs> You done, Brandon? So, so happy. And How dude, many hours do you think that took? Too many, dude. Like what, 16, 18 hours? Yeah, we're not gonna tell them. We're gonna put, it took four hours, it you guys. It took four hours. It's the same day. <laughs> 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 all right, we're finally done. Uh, everything's cleaned up, so all that means is now Brandon gonna go take it up the street. Hopefully he doesn't die. Hopefully the wheels don't come off and fucks up his car. But uh, yeah, let's see. We'll get some photos of the car show you guys the 4x4 height and all that goodness. <laughs> I wanted to pull up my car and obviously the battery's completely dead from not driving in it so long. But, so we just gotta get the little jump going first. Ooh. Let's go. Damn, Gundam suit, whoa. All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. That's gonna be it. We got the TEs on the Civic Type R. Finally did some mods. Finally finished doing the coilovers. Uh, we're just gonna dial in the ride height a little bit more after that quick little drive. But for now, it's just gonna be at this height. But after he gets that alignment done this week, it's gonna be lowering it some more, add some more camber, and we'll actually have the ride height nice and dialed in. No more four by four status. Yeah, so if you guys made it this far in the video, hit subscribe, like, comment, you know, whatever you guys want to do. And until next time, peace out.